the World Meteorological Organization has estimated an increase in climate penalty because of an increase in the number of heat waves leading to wildfires and subsequently more pollution. This will affect millions of people harming their health and surrounding ecosystems. The report by WMO estimates a range of outcomes under low and high greenhouse gas emissions. With a focus on 2020 and 2021, it explores how the hot and dry conditions in North America and Siberia led to wildfires and an increase in PM2.5 levels, a severe health hazard if inhaled over long periods of time. The anomalous levels observed during July and August 2021 in Siberia have never been seen before. During the heat waves in Europe and China this year, stable high atmospheric conditions, sunlight and low wind speeds were conducive to high pollution levels. The climate penalty refers to the climate change amplification effect on ground level ozone production, which negatively impacts the air people breathe. Asia, where one-fourth of the world resides, will face most of this penalty where surface ozone pollution episodes might be exacerbated. Ozone is good if it is found in the stratosphere since it protects living beings from UV radiations. But surface-level ozone pollution, which happens when pollutants react with each other in the presence of sunlight, is bad for health. Climate change and air quality are interrelated because the sources of air degradation are released along with greenhouse gases. For example, burning of fossil fuels releases nitrogen oxide apart from CO2, which reacts with sunlight to form ozone and nitrate aerosols. When these pollutants are deposited in our ecosystem, they affect crop yield, clean water and biodiversity. The IPCC AR6 has assessed that the probability of catastrophic wildfire events like Chile in 2017, Australia in 2019 and Western USA in 2020-2021 is likely to increase by 40 to 60 percent by the end of the century under a high emission scenario and 30 to 50 percent under a low emission scenario. Under the 3 degree scenario, surface ozone levels will rise by 20 percent in Pakistan, North India and Bangladesh and 10 percent across eastern China. If the world becomes more carbon neutral on the other hand, ozone pollution episodes will be limited because eliminating fossil fuels will also prevent the release of ozone precursor gases like nitrogen oxide and volatile organic compounds. In this scenario, small short-term warming will be felt followed by temperature decreases, but this might get cancelled out by natural aerosol emissions like dust or wildfire smoke. A low carbon scenario will enhance human life in every way possible by preventing depositions in our ecosystem and improving the quality of food we eat, water we consume and the air we breathe.